Hello everyone. Nice Cooper Real Deals, true F1 Brayfords. There are about three F1 Brangus in there and then a couple of Brahmins. Home cooking. These girls have never seen the inside of a sail barn. They're not, some of these guys are selling all oh, those Brayford types or kind of look like F1s, guys. I can show you the mamas of these, so they're the real nickels, real McCoys. I think he's W4 Herefords. I'll get the word guys, but I think they're I think W4 Herefords. Good cattle. Again, they weaned them about a month ago. Um, I thought I need some pin of the local county fairs here in Texas. They got this pin of three show. Ooh, look at Hector there. Ooh. They have the county fair have these heifer show, 4-H projects. You can get some heifers there and definitely match up. It'd be tough to get around that 4-H deal. They were in about a five-acre trap, and I pinned them myself. Once one of them saw the whole, the rest of them followed. So, again, they're the they're true Brayfords, they're true, true F ones, half Brahmin, half Angus. I mean, obviously not the blacks and not the the couple Brahmins, but the rest are all the real deals. Anyone in the South, they know what these cows do. Obviously, we it, all the media always see. Angus, 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 see northern markets, but these kind, I promise you, boys and girls, when old Blackie's looking for a shade tree, these half-bloods are growing up big old calves, breeding back the fastest, needing very low input costs on these girls. Just turn them out and forget about them. And they're not, again, they're not put together. Brayford, some of you go, oh, they're Brayford types, sir. What? They're some kind of crossbred cattle. These are half bloods. All have half Brahmin implants. You'll be amazing what these. I mean, give them all they need is time, guys. These got weaned. I think three three weeks ago. All they need is time. And every day you see these girls when they get bigger, they'll be more impressed with every day you own them. I promise you. When she's ten or twelve, thirteen, fourteen, still having calves, you'll be impressed as well. And you can buy them in today's market. I mean, the market on these kind, it's it's six, seven dollars cheaper than it was last year. So you can buy them in this cheap market. Everyone's freaking about the calf market. Well, buy cattle now when it's cheap and breeding stock now. And hell, you look like a, I make it look smart. I mean, last year was so dang high. The past few years so dang high. You get them in today's market, and it's a great investment, in my opinion. Again, some of these county fair heifers are definitely heifers. Somebody go through here and put a deal of these pin of three or pin of two, whatever the case may be. But look at the quality of the Brahmins there. Whew. There's some Brahmins that are knock your socks off. I know it's like, well, you sell these four Brahmins? Five Brahmins? I don't know. He, I'm sure he will, but a whole different dollar than purebred Brahmins. Good cattle guys, all home cooking. Either it, they, we, we, he raised most of all these ones he did not, he bought off the cow. So none of these are cell barn put together heifers. Good ladies, make them up in years to come. Again, someone's want to pin a Brayford heifers to make pin threes for the county fair. Definitely some heifers in the work. Or someone's want to go some winter grass and grow out, breed up and put them in a special next year, or just ranch for the next 12 to 15 years. These are the kind that will make you money. You know, I'm Clayton Hobbits. Fine group of F1 Brayfords in South Texas. Hope you have a blessed day. Adios.